the next housemate to be evicted. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dam Lola and I am super duper happy to be back here again with another gist from the Baby Ninja All Stars. As we all expected, today is Sunday, which is the life eviction day. Yes, Ibuka came in looking stunning in his yellow tuxedo. Guys, oh my god, yellow is a beautiful color and it fits Ibuka's color quite well. I don't know where why it's actually starting Ibuka, but the person is doing a very, very good job. Ibuka went into the highlights of what happened throughout the week, the drama, the basketballs, Ik chewing, Lebai's float away, um, Biggie playing the clip, you know, trying to expose Ik's act everything was actually being um showed during the highlights and i think i really enjoyed watching it again trust me i'm never tired of this house meet drama afterwards ibuka further went into the house to ask mercy ek about her chopping lip session with kidawaya and trust me guys this lady denied it it's totally she said she doesn't understand what ibuka is saying that she did not do anything of such with kidawaya mercy has gone from chopping lips with um white money to chopping lips with Kidawaya and I mean she actually wanted to do with Adekunle but thank God Adekunle was smart enough to you know avoid her now she's saying that um she was drunk she didn't remember doing anything like that with Kidawaya she doesn't understand what Ebuka is saying and Ebuka had to ask Kid do you think that it happened between you and Mercy and thank God Kid owned it Kid said yes it did happen and Mercy was saying I was drunk I don't know what you're saying I have I, have, I can't even remember I can't rem you keep on saying you cannot remember if you know that you cannot handle drinking why drink if you know you're going to do things that you cannot even remember why drink so I feel like she needs to actually know that she needs to know that Ebo Kafada went into introducing all the juries into the house. The first jury that joined us today happens to be Sasuke from the Baby Ninja Channel Eye House edition. Guys, this lady is super intelligent, she's very smart, she's very beautiful. Call her whatever you want to call her. She's outstanding and I feel like she's going to do a very fantastic job. The juries have not actually been doing a very good job. I feel like they've been attaching a lot of emotions to this particular job. But I'm hoping that this set of juries that we have this week would do a fantastic job i really hope so i really really do hope so after sasuke joined us the next jury that came on stage happened to be elozuma there is someone that i feel like is really talented in the industry he's an amvca winner he knows what he's doing he knows his onions quite well but can he nail the jury job very well that i cannot even tell i do not know personally because from my experience with the juries you know from last week from upper weeks it has not really been nice at all so i don't know if he can actually nail the job but what i just want is i want someone that can come on the job do a very um very nice job don't put any um bias into it don't make your decision based on the fact that i know this person before this person was my friend this person is my g make your decision based on what you watch in the show what you see from the show g get you can tell the people are really playing the sh playing the game very well. The people that needs to stay in the house, and the people are not supposed to stay in the house. That is what I'm looking for. So I don't know if that guy can actually need it properly well, but we'll get to see in the long run. Okay. The next jury that joined us on stage today is my one and only V. Guys, V is one person that I've been waiting to see as one of the juries. Actually, when I was talking about the juries, you, you should expect to see on the show. I mentioned V. And I'm so happy to know that I am right. V is a very talented young lady. She's sweet, she's dramatic, she'll bring her Yoruba, she'll bring her everything into whatever you're giving to her. And now she's a jury, guys. Oh my god. Epoca asked her, Would you prefer to be in the show or just be a jury? And she said she likes this jury thing that she's doing. She really likes it, that she doesn't even want to be in the show, that she likes her job. And I know that she can actually need it. She can do a very perfect job. Now, Ebuka asked her about Neo and Taladi Baja. What does she think about Neo and Taladi Baja in the house? And the response she gave to us was that, I am just happy that I was right. She had mentioned it before during lockdown reunion you know, that Taladi Baja likes Neo. Taladi Baja likes Neo. But it seemed as if she was saying, saying the words is saying, saying you know but now you guys can see that she was right she was right she knew what she was saying and i'm actually glad that you know she was right and we could see clearly that this lady really likes new so i'm i'm actually very happy i'm extremely excited that she is part of the juries and i hope that this three set of people will deliver a fantastic job 
okay now Ebuka went back into the house to ask Ilabaye about how our week has been you know she has gone through a lot no doubt um if she's mentally um drained if it has affected her mentally and she said yes that it has actually gotten to her a lot um she feels really bad she's sad she's this she's that but i'm sure she's gonna be fine she's gonna be all right she's going to be very very fine now Ebuka asked her do you think you're responsible for the things that happen to you and she said mm, maybe in some ways maybe in some ways that she's not really sure if she's really really responsible for some of the things that happen to her like i said in one of my videos ilabaye literally um ilabaye literally did a lot she did the most at the beginning of the show but she came back to her show she went into her show back she's now calm she's now sweet Personally, I think I like this Ilebai. I think I like this character she has um, been showing us of late. She's not dramatic. She's not bringing basketballs. Even though I like basketballs, but I like it in a very minimal way. I don't want you to give me headache. I don't want you to stress me. I don't want you to give me high blood pressure. So I think I really like what Ilebai is doing currently right now. I think I really, really like it. So Ikeda coming for her was way too much. So I'm, I'm sure she's going to be fine. Anyways, either way, she's going to be all right. Okay. Now back to meet the juries. Let's see what Ebuka asked for us. Who are the two top listed voted housemates? We have Kinawaya and we have Tola Dibaj. Who do you think the juries will evict from today's show? Who do you think will be going on? You know, today, drop your comments at the comment section before I come here and tell you guys who eventually got evicted. All right, at the end of the day, the juries came together and they were able to dissect, converse, communicate, and conclude on who they think is more entertaining. I like the fact that Sasuke suggested that this time around they should please ensure that they save the person that is more entertaining. You know, they shouldn't be biased about it. I think I really like that about this set of juries. Elo Zuma actually suggested that they should save Tolani, but since she's involved in a ship. Well, personally, I feel like I like Kedawaya's strategy more because there are a lot of ships in that house already. So we have in another ship again. I mean, how many ships do we want to have? And Tolani, Baj and you are not really completely in the ship. There's, there's a lot of things going on. There are a lot of triangles going on in that situation. So I don't think picking Tolani Baj was a very good move i feel like i like kidawaya's plotting you know conspiring strategy i think i i think i i think i like it more than whatever talani bad is doing with me i think i prefer that but either ways they were able to actually come to conclusion to save one person and i like the fact that they didn't do it based on being biased they did it because they were trying to do their job and that makes a lot of sense so kidawaya eventually got evicted from the show unfortunately i feel sad but it is what it is so afterwards, Ebuka mentioned that there are going to be guests in the house coming in. They will only play the game, play the HOH game, you know, um, partake in the widget task. They are not to compete for the 120 million naira cash. So that means they are not really housemates, they are guests. But the housemates would not know about this except you and I, okay? Let me quickly drop this gist here. So after the life eviction process, Polani Badge and Sisi were involved in a basketball all because of Neo. Tr trust me, guys, I do not understand Polani Badge anymore. She needs to calm down. Like that lady needs to take a chill pee. Is that she's having basketballs with Lebaye, with Urel? Now Sisi, the sister that does not even care about Neo. Like she doesn't care about Neo. Like it's so obvious. She's dragging CC because of new. Like, seriously, that girl needs to chill out. She needs to chill out. That is all I have for you guys for now. Many more are to come. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, turn on post notification, and tell me something great at the comment section. I love you guys. See ya. Bye.